dipping the, the new motor into the bucket, you'll find it easier to fit the motor mount into the bucket rather than fitting the motor mount to the motor itself. points towards the front of the motor to bucket. At this stage, I would advise applying a small amount of grease Each of the lugs on the motor mount. Before proceeding, it's important to ensure. In the motor bucket cap are all adequately seated behind all retaining features provided. Once you're sure. Seated correctly, you can lower the motor into the motor bucket cap. Now there are no distinguishing features. orientation so the important thing is to make sure that one of the connection terminals in line with the wiring grommet within this detail here. Once it's located, you can refit the wires the terminals. Just making sure the adequately clipped into place can't vibrate off. case of lowering the motor over the two locating tabs on the motor to bucket mount. However, 
Java is when you lower the motor into the bucket, that the cap can interfere with the side of the motor bucket here. Make it difficult to lower it over the lugs. So I therefore advise at this point just to release in the motor from the cap and the once more, allowing you to manipulate the motor over the two lugs easier. may take a little bit of just manoeuvring until it's correctly seated. You'll just know when it's seated correctly that you won't be able to That feels to me like that. that's physically correctly. And then it's the case once again lowering the motor. The motor mount and motor bucket, and you'll know if the motor is incorrectly because you're very easily be able to clip the catch. Was any resistance? You know that motor is not correctly fitted over those two lugs. When you're happy, it's seated correctly. You can refit the two silver colored screws on the lower edge of the motor bucket cap. With the motor fitted, you can then Locate the upright switch over the two locating pegs in the motor bucket cap. Whilst we're moving and fitting the motor. The wires on the motor bucket cap 
may have So this, this point, just make, make sure the both the upright switch That in the not much detail on the side of the cap here. fit in the new motor into the product, it will be necessary to fit the stand assembly followed by all of the parts in sequence as previously shown. Details on, on how to fit all those parts. Please see the, the standard replacement fit in section of this film. Before leaving this however, I want to point out one more area of the product here. This cover houses Block mechanism of the product. If the reason for repair is because the machine won't stand upright, then I would advise investigating this. The cover is held on to the motor bucket with three
And there's one clip on the underside that holds it in place. So, so underneath the cover, the forward lock mechanism, which is this part here. And the spring. Both of which should be investigated. There was a possibility that if the machine wouldn't stand up right, that the forward lock itself could be cracked or broken in two, or it may simply be a that the spring is dislodged from the retaining detail and can be refitted. If, if those parts are a fault, then both are offered 